Okay, this is part one of the uh, tutorial. We want a new document and we're going to name it and we'll call it Mail Template. We also need to change the size and the width to 740 pixels and the height 1009 pixels. Resolution 72 pixels per inch. Check that that's there like that. And we'll also change the background contents to transparent and then click OK. There we have a document. Right, in the layers palette we need to name this layer, double click on the type and type in background or in my case BG. And then we'll go to the paint bucket tool, change it from background to pattern. Now we're going to choose a rock pattern. So the little side button there and choose rock patterns. Just click OK on that. Um, there we'll choose the first one. Click anywhere outside of it. And click into the document. OK, that's done. We need to go to the layers palette now to make a new layer. So let's go to the layers palette. Click on the new layers button at the bottom, name it paper by double clicking and then type in paper and let's go back and drag in some guides. Right? And you just click and hold on the ruler and just drag in and then we want some top and bottom guides now. Make sure they're nice and even all the way around so the paper that's going in the center. It's nice and even. Okay, right, now then, we're going to use um, a rectangle, well, the rounded rectangle tool with a radius of 20 pixels. Okay, so we need to check that we've got snap selected and that's in view. So we'll go to view and then snap to, so if you just roll one down, snap to and just check that the guide is ticked. Okay, that's ticked. Okay, so start on the corner, top left, and just drag down and let go. Okay, once that's done, we need to go to the layers palette and chip and make sure in paper and click the paths tab and then basically click the button at the bottom for the selection. Okay, we're going to fill that, we're going to change the pattern we fill it with to a, a paper pattern. Okay, and we'll use the gold here. Okay, and click in. Now we need to select and deselect. That's great. Right, change over to the layers palette again. Make sure that paper is selected. And we're going to use the transparent type tool. Aerial black. 36 points. As soon as you click on the paper, it will turn, well, it'll have a red overlay. Type in whatever you want. I'm just going to use my name here. Okay, click back on the selection tool. You'll notice you have Martian Ants there now. Hit delete. Now delete anything inside those Martian Ants and then select, deselect. Okay, let's put in uh, a rectangle. So we'll click that and basically position it on the page where you want it. So if you just click inside, well, just put your cursor inside and then once it turns white, click and then maneuver where you want to go. It's quite nice there, so hit delete and that will basically delete whatever's inside there. So we'll hit delete, there we go, select, deselect. Okay, that's it. Apart from the drop shadow, okay, well we can leave everything else there. So, okay, that, and there we have it, a nice little document, so file, save as, we're going to leave it in the PSD format, because the next tutorial 
I'll show you how to slice this up. But uh, leave it as mail template, put it somewhere where you can find it. I'm going to put it in uh, documents and then into the folder for this little project. Right. So mail templates and save. That's it.